My brothers and sisters, finally, a little tiny story. There was a woman, nobody knows her real name, at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. She was an Ethiopian woman, but nobody knew where she came from. All she was is a nice Muslim sister. Everybody knew she was their sister in Islam. And she couldn't do much. The only thing she could do was clean the masjid. So she used to clean the masjid and pick up a bit of rubbish and, and uh, whatever there was, making it nice for people to pray there. Rasul ﷺ noticed her. And then one morning, he noticed that she hadn't arrived. So he asked about it. They said, Wallahi Ya Rasulullah, she passed away last night. He said, why didn't you call me? I've told you that whoever passes away, let me know. He said, Ya Rasulullah, you were asleep. The weather was hot. We didn't want to wake you up. He said, go and show me where her grave is. They took him to her grave and he prayed Salat al Janaza for her. He said, the graves are full of darknesses and misery. And my prayer and my salat for them opens it wide and fills it with blessings and nur. And also our prayers for our brothers and sisters does that too. Something so small as picking up something in the masjid gave this woman such an importance to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So brothers and sisters, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا من في شيء. Do not take for granted the smallest of good deeds. Even to meet your brother with a cheerful or delightful face. All of this inshaAllah or with a nice word. All of this counts in your good deeds and inshaAllah as a legacy.